Let's go, go girls. girls. I'm going out tonight. I'm feeling all right. I'm gonna let it all hang out. Wanna make some noise. Really raise my voice. Yeah, I wanna scream and shout. You guys, it's beautiful. As if we didn't already start this road trip down south of Cebu with a bang, with the music, here we are standing up in front of this amazing, amazing space. Yeah, we're at the Samala Parish Church. It is gorgeous. We, we've seen pictures. We had no idea it was this massivo and beautiful and like, Oh my gosh, oh I my want to film gosh. every little bit of it. It's a fortress. It legit looks like a fortress, but it's a church. It's stunning. It's an understatement. Oh my god. Just look. Look for yourself. <laughs> yes. I'll show you. Also, when you're coming to the church, be sure to wear anything below the knee or you're gonna to have to rent or bring your own scarf to cover those kneecap of yours. Will and I wear short shorts, so we had to rent two of these silky, well-designed scarves to cover up our Mine kneecaps. Mine was my outfit, so I am all about it. <laughs> all right, let's go. This church is beautiful. In fact, it's named one of Cebu's most beautiful churches. In a little backstory, there's actually a Mother Mary figure in the center of the church that is actually said to have shed tears of blood. A few times, actually. The most recent was in 2016. However, the first bloodshed was during the Dungate, Dengue fever? Um, whether you believe that or not, that's up to you. However, it's interesting and it's a beautiful church and it's devoted to all forms of Virgin Mama Mary. So stop by, there's no reason not to. It's stunning. The grounds are insane. You could tell a lot of time, energy, and hard work went into constructing this grand church. And till this moment, they are adding more to the church, as you can see. So that part of the grounds are closed. And I believe the lower ground is also closed. We don't see anyone walking through the garden, but we are just blown away. We've never seen a church this magnificent as far as like how grand it is. And honestly, this is like a great start to our trip down south of Cebu. Wah, wah, wah. You guys, we had to turn back around because this is the end point since they're constructing and renovating the rest of the church. It's still beautiful. You still get to see so much and it's just more reason for us to come back to it again when it's all completed because there's every ounce of us wants to go yeah. all over and see everything. It's only an hour away from Cebu. So whether you rent a car or just take a series bus, hey, check it out because it's literally worth it. Also, if you're going to car car or something, it's like, it's right here. <laughs> Check it out. It's definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to get to. Let's get back in the car and let's go grab some lunch at a well-known province many of you may know. So Jose's taking a poop, I think. I need to stop and get a coffee, guys. I'm falling asleep in the car ride. What's going on? What are you doing? Did you go to poop? No, the CR was close. The CR. By the CR. way, he <laughs> was calling it the RC, which is so embarrassing and just shameful. Nah, it was just a little hiccup. Let's go, girl.
attraction. Color my hair, do it again. Oh, oh, oh. Wanna be free and yeah. feel the way I feel. Man, I feel like a woman. Not only is Car Car known for their, oh my god, I literally just had a brain freeze. One of the best foods ever, 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 anywhere in the world is chicharron, or maybe known as pork rinds or whatever, wherever you're at. They're also very well known for it here, and Jose and I are really, really keen on the spicy one. So we're looking for, you know what? We're just gonna look and find some, and whoever has the best booth, and Eat it. We made it to Chicharron Heaven, as well said, and there are a variety of booths out here uh, selling the original Chicharron and Will's favorite. Spicy. The spicy, spicy, spicy Chicharron. Spicy. And it's a little competitive. I mean, they're all trying to draw you into their stand, and we're just going to feel it out. We're going to feel out the vibe and see what ends up being our place. Either way, we're walking away with lots of Chicharron, so <laughs> I don't even care. Let's just go. We're hungry. Hello. Spicy chicharron. 900 per kilo, sir. Per kilo? How much? 900, 900. per kilo. Oh, that's a lot of kilo. That's a lot of yeah. kilo. Yeah. <laughs> My one fourth, 125. One fourth? Okay. Yeah, we'll do one We'll fourth. do one fourth. Yeah, yeah. You know it. Will and I love spicy food, so we had to get the spicy chicharron. So let's get it go. It's crunchy. You get like the little like fatty meaty parts and you get the spice. Honestly, two thumbs up. All right, I'm gonna try this. Camera eat first. Oh, <laughs> no, I eat first. <laughs> okay, okay, let the palate take it all in. This is really good. Is it? And very fresh, like very fresh. Oh my gosh, oh my God. I see why they say Car Car has the best Luchon and, oh my God, I already forgot the name. Teacher Rome, ah! So when you get here, be prepared, because every time you're trying to order, you're gonna have another vendor coming right at you, trying to order. So, competition, baby. But um, you will not go short on chicharron or anything. Plenty here, lots of people, very popular. It is packed. Good luck finding a parking spot. But they have people here that are gonna hide you, which is really, really nice. But yeah, guys, come here. This is where the chicharron is at. This is where the great, good chicharron is at. So, there we go. Oh, also, like if you're riding a bus, you will see them go through the streets and then the vendors will hop on the bus very quickly just so they can sell. So if you're not, if you're new to the Philippines, it's very common for vendors to just hop on the bus randomly and start selling the product. And trust me, when you're traveling for long times on a bus, it's actually a really good thing. Aside from the chicharron stands here, they also have the lechon available to dine at. But we're gonna head over to the lechon market just to give you an idea of all the vendors that are selling the lechon. And we're hungry, so we gotta eat something. So let's go and over and get some lechon. So this is what happened to the three little pigs. One went to the market, and she's getting chopped up now. And it looks like her brother and sister followed suit. <laughs> some lechon in our bellies. People keep telling us different directions. Google keeps telling us different directions. Yeah. The locals keep telling us different directions, which that's fine, because there's probably like some type of barrier there from everybody's talking. <laughs> it's true. But still, we're on the hunt. This is the thing. This is what you don't see. You see that perfectly, perfectly sculpted video that shows, oh my god, we're there already. <laughs> 
It must have been so easy. No. No, it's not easy. It's, it's always a process, but we're gonna find it because we are, I don't know if we're going that way. I don't know. We're gonna, we'll figure it out. As you guys can see, very similar to the chicharrones, there's a lot of vendors out here trying to like entice you to come in and try their lechon. A lot. And honestly, we love samples. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. They will give you a sample so you can try it. So they're not asking you to pay for it ahead of time. Like, they give you a sample so you can see if you want to buy some. And you guys know I generally do spicy everything. Yeah. But like, there's one stall here that I really, really like the meat so far. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do unspicy for this one. Is it Oka for us? Paras. Oka, yeah, Oka for us. When you're here, stop by this booth. <laughs> Try it. Even if you like spicy. Yes. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and it, um, it's good. I'm gonna go pay. I'll be right back. All right. And then uh, when you're ordering here, you can always order by the kilo or half a pound or one fourth. So we're ordering one fourth of each stall. And we're gonna try it out in just a bit. How much is it? One, six hundred per kilo. Oh. Try the meat. Very yummy. Very hot. Yeah. It's so fresh. You have a little small one? Fifty each. Fifty You want to talk? No. 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 One four. Perfect. Spicy. Yes. yes. Thank you. What is that? Sauce. Sauce. Oh, sauce. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. So thank you so much. Thank you, ladies. I'm not gonna lie, guys. We came here thinking we'd see like rows and rows of lechon. I don't know if it's maybe they're not all here yet, all the vendors. There's only a few downstairs, so it wasn't that chaotic. We've heard, we've seen videos where it is straight up like 50 vendors just lined up with their lechon. But you know what? We still came, we still found some really good lechon. Um, it seems to be average around 900, uh, 900 pesos per kilo, which is roughly, we'll put it below because I'm not going to lie and tell you I know what I'm talking about right now. But I think we got one fourth from a couple places, so it was like 150 pesos, 200. So we're trying to find a place to eat, but guys, all the seats are taken. Like we have nowhere to sit, so uh, I guess we're going to go to our car. Oh, you found a seat? Never mind, we're gonna go eat. Okay, so we found a seat, right? But we had no silverware, or plates, or anything, or even gloves to eat. Like, we're you see with our hands now. But one of the ladies here at the stall brought us over plates and silverware and like all of her sauces, even though we didn't buy anything from her, just so we had we could sit here and eat correctly. Again, the Filipino people are the kindest people you're gonna meet. Like, it's just fact at this point. It's time for us to find out if Car Car does have the best lechon in the Philippines. We got two types of lechons, the original and the spicy, because obviously we love the spice. We love the spice because, first, because skin's the best part. Oh yeah. I'm telling you. How is it? Perfect. Yeah. It's like, it's fresh. The right amount of crunch and the right amount of like soft. Uh huh. It's not like chicharrón, which is super, super hard. And if you like salty foods you've never had, we just get in and literally just forgot it. <laughs> Guys, I am having a, I am having some moments today. Oh, um, no, it's not. It's, no, it's not. It's lechon. <laughs> lechon. Full disclaimer, one, I'm gonna be super picky and just eat the meat because we have a, it's more of a texture thing so we can't really eat the gristle part or like the fat part. Oh my gosh, even the meat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. 
That was my favorite. The original. His meat was like his meat. <laughs> <It's not laughs> his meat. Their meat was really good. It's so it's tender. It's fresh. And it's very flavorful. Like honestly, you could go like for another bite immediately after the first. So we've had the chong a few times now in Cebu. We have. And it's all how would you compare it? Hmm. Real talk. I would honestly say that this lechon tops every other lechon we've had here in the Philippines so far. Hmm. And I don't know what it is about car car or like the science behind the way they cook it. But it's very flavorful. And it doesn't feel heavy. It feels light. Yeah. Right? And pork is not a protein that would be light, right? It's not. What do you think? I can't tell a real difference, if I'm being honest. Ooh, okay. And I feel like if we line these up, maybe it's just because Cebu just makes really good lechon. True. Over, yeah. Like, so it might just be a island. Cebu thing. But, but, I will say, no, that's not fair to say there's a difference because I can actually tell you this is a lot more, what's the word? I'm not going to use the word I'm thinking of right now. Oh my gosh. I hate that word. Moist. Also, just a little bit of um, knowledge about the dropping, you guys. If you're eating the chong, ask if you can get the rib, the meat from the rib, mm. or if it's the rib. So our friend May told us a couple weeks ago, yeah, that is the best part. So go for that. She's like, that's where all the flavors at, and they're like, okay. She's not lying. She is not lying. Mm -hmm. That is the most flavorful part of the lechon and the best part. So if you want it, go for the ribs. Make it's probably the first thing that goes. Yeah, be honest with you. it's true. You want it? So I got it. You guys, we've had a really, really, really good time here at Car Car. We did. The food was so yummy. And earlier today, that shrine was so majestic. Or the church, actually. Sorry. Beautiful. 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 But most of all, we need to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to Hertz Philippines for sponsoring this video and getting us here safe in this really good car. So anybody needs a car rent? Mm -hmm. Hertz Philippines, which is actually funny because in the Philippines, we usually go private car rental, but yeah. in America and in Mexico, where do we rent from? Hertz. Yeah. Thank so, you guys so much. You did not even have to do that. So thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. And we can't wait to take all of you guys on the next journey with us on the back seat, or if you like, shotgun and welcome ride the back seat. Guys, it's going to be a good one. Thank you, Hertz Philippines. We're glad to be part of the fam. Yes. And we'll attach a link to their website yes. below. All right, guys. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.